Boiling point is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of a liquid is equal to the atmospheric pressure. It is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of a liquid is equal to the atmospheric pressure. Right, that is the answer to 3.1.1, right? Uh, let's define the term boiling point and then moving to 3.1.2 the question is saying that let's explain why the boiling points of alcohols increase as the number of carbon atoms increase by referring to type and strength of intermolecular forces only so let's look at our graph right you can see that when we have four carbons the boiling point is greater than when we have three carbons and then when we have five carbons the boiling point is higher than when we have four carbons and then lastly when we have six carbons the boiling point is higher than when we have five four three and anything lower than that so the question is asking us to explain why that is the case by referring to the type and strength of intermolecular forces only so right this is how you answer this question so the first thing you're gonna say that as the number so as the number of carbon atoms increases right because uh, we can clearly see that uh, there's something happening to the boiling point when the number of carbon atoms is increasing like there's a trend as the number of carbons increases the boiling point increases so the surface area is going to increase right the surface area the surface area increases the surface area increases yeah we're increasing the number of carbon atoms uh, so we're expecting the surface area to increase right because uh, the molecular mass of that substance has increased and the chain length have increases so the surface area will also increase and if uh, the surface area increases, uh, then the strength, the strength of the intermolecular forces is going to increase, right? Uh, the strength of uh, London forces. So we have London forces and induced dipole, dipole is going to increase. Induced dipole, dipole uh, increases, right? right and then if um the strength of london and the induced dipole dipole increases then we would expect to have a higher boiling point right because the strength of the intermolecular forces has increased so that's how we answer 3.1.2 and uh, moving to 3.1.3 3.1.3 saying that let's explain why the curve of the alcohols is higher than that of the ketones let's refer to the type and strength of intermolecular forces involved why is it that when we have the same number of carbons alcohols have a higher boiling point compared to ketone let's look at the point where we have three carbon atoms right so uh, when we have three uh, for ketones we have a boiling point of about uh, 50 degrees Celsius as you can see and then for alcohols we have a boiling point of about 100 degrees Celsius so the question is basically asking us why is that the case why when we have the same number of carbon atoms alcohols have a higher boiling point compared to ketones and then the question is very specific on what it wants from us we must talk about the type and strength of intermolecular forces involved so alcohols alcohols have hydrogen bonding right we know that fully well that uh, alcohols are possess hydrogen uh, bonding right so that is uh, the intermolecular forces of alcohols and then on the other hand ketones ketones have dipole dipole forces right so ketones have dipole dipole uh, forces right and then uh, we can now see that hydrogen bonding uh, hydrogen bonding is stronger than dipole dipole right so hydrogen bonding is stronger than dipole dipole stronger than dipole dipole forces 
And then, as a consequence, alcohols will have a higher boiling point compared to ketones, right? Uh, because more energy is going to be required to break the intermolecular forces in alcohols than ketones because alcohols uh, possess this uh, hydrogen bonding, which is stronger than dipole dipole forces that ketones uh, possess. So, uh, moving forward, uh, they say that the vapor pressure of the alcohol is compared to that of a ketone at the same temperature. Right, and then 3.1.4 saying that why must the alcohol and ketone which are used for the comparison have the same number of carbon atoms? Uh, that is uh, to have a fair test, right? To have a fair test, to have a fair test. Right, why am I saying to have a fair test? Well, yeah, it seems like we're comparing um, the boiling points as a function of the functional groups, right? The functional group of alcohol and ketone. So if we have two different functional groups and we have different number of carbon atoms, you end up not really seeing what affects what. Is the boiling points different because of the carbon atoms or is the boiling points different uh, because of the functional group, right? So we need to keep one of the other factors the same and only change one so that we can see its influence, right? So that's why uh, we're keeping the same number of carbon atoms and just having uh, a different functional group. And then 3.1.5. 3.1.5 is saying which one will have a higher vapor pressure, alcohol or ketone, give a reason for the answer by referring to the data in the graph. The data in the graph is showing us uh, the number of carbon atoms in the boiling point, right? But then from theory, we know that um, the higher the boiling point, the lower the vapor pressure, right? But then the question is saying uh, which one will have the higher vapor pressure. And then at the same time, we know that uh, the lower uh, the boiling point, uh, then the higher the vapor pressure, right? So whichever one has the lower boiling point has the higher vapor pressure, right? And we can see from these two graphs that ketones have a lower boiling point compared to alcohols with the same number of carbon atoms, right? Uh, so we can clearly see that um, the ketone is going to have uh, the higher vapor pressure since it has uh, the lower the lower uh, boiling point for the same number of carbon atoms, right? Yeah, so that is the reason you would give that uh, ketones have a lower uh, boiling point, right? Yeah, compared to alcohols of the same number of carbon atoms, right? And that is 3.1.5. Let's, you know, move forward to 3.2. So 3.2 is saying that uh, the boiling points of propanoic acid and propan one all are compared so that is 3.2 and 3.2.1 saying that which compound has the higher boiling point uh, that is propanoic 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 acid right propanoic acid and then 3.2.2 is saying that let's explain the answer to question 3.2.1 by referring to type of strength of intermolecular forces and energy right so why am i saying is propanoic acid you know let's talk about that right that's what the question is asking us to do so uh both uh propanoic acid so let me not write this one down uh just for the sake of time so both propanoic acid and propane one all consists of hydrogen bonding. They have hydrogen bonding, right? Both of them. But then propanoic acid has two sides of hydrogen bonding, while propane one all has one side of hydrogen bonding. And then as a consequence, the intermolecular forces of propanoic acid will be stronger than that of propane one all and then that will result in more energy being needed to overcome the intermolecular forces of propanoic acid